Adam Taxon on the line with Mickey Kuhn, a veteran Hollywood actor who may be most famous for playing seven-year-old Bo Wilkes in Gone with the Wind. You heard him a few weeks ago uh, on the sad occasion of the death of Ann Rutherford. Now we're talking about something a little happier, uh, the upcoming 96th birthday on July 1st of his mother in Gone with the Wind, a.k.a. Melanie Wilkes. And, of course, we're talking about Olivia de Havilland. Mickey, nice to have you uh, back on with me on a happier occasion. Well, Adam, it's always a pleasure to join you. And this is truly a happy occasion. Uh, you know, Mama Melanie, uh, this Olivia, is, uh, is 96 years old. And, and uh, the last communication I had with her, we, we uh, have advanced from letter writing to each other to um, emailing. Okay. And that's qu quite a step, as you might imagine, for her. But um, we talked about, oh, how she has been and, and her 80, excuse me, 96th birthday coming up and, and she said, I'm going to live to 120, Mickey. She said, so let's both plan to do that. I thought, what a great outlook she has. Uh -huh. uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, uh-huh. Yeah, it, uh, you know, she's just a, a, a super lady. I, I call her every year on her birthday, July the 1st, and uh, we, we just exchange pleasantries, if you will, and, and uh, although I don't know her personally, as you might imagine, right. because in Gone with the Wind, you know, she was behind the door, so to speak, in her bedroom and, and dying, and I'm out in the, uh, in the sitting area with the rest of the, of the cast, but... Uh, the ironic story a couple of years ago my wife Barbara and I were celebrating our 25th anniversary and, and uh, we went to Paris and we had uh, set up with uh, Olivia a, uh, a, a little afternoon get together we were mm -hmm. to have uh, some champagne and canapes and we looked forward to it and, and uh, I sensed via our communication that uh, she was just uh, eagerly looking forward to it as much as I was. Mm -hmm. but, well, the time came and, and Barbara and I got there and I got dressed and, and got a bottle of her favorite champagne and Barbara got her a rose and we walked to the house and knocked on the door and there was no answer. And we knocked on the door again and there was no answer. Finally, this young, this older gentleman came walking around and he spoke no English. Uh -huh. So I uh, tried, in my, in my very, very limited French, tried to tell him what we were there for. And uh, I guess I got through because he admitted us to the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we were sitting in the, in the sitting room, and he comes down with a note. And the note said, oh, you know, I'm sorry. I had, uh, my staff had forgotten to advise me that today was the day, and bada, bada, bada. And, uh, of course, she wasn't expecting us. On a, on a post post-it note, and uh, well, to make a long story short, we exchanged about 15 post-it notes back and forth, mm -hmm. and just you know, just a, a treasure trove of, of uh, uh, silent conversation that means a, bit, a lot to me and meant, meant a lot at the time. Uh, and unfortunately, I haven't gotten back there yet. But my wife said, she said, isn't it ironic? She said, in Gone with the Wind, she was behind the door, and he said. Funny, I was just thinking that myself. Maybe not meant to be, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, you know, you've never actually met her in person. Obviously, you filmed it at different times. And unlike, say, Anne Rutherford and Cammie King, who passed away re very recently and somewhat recently, uh, yeah. she did not come to uh, Gone with the Wind alumni events. And just to point out to everyone else, she's the only one of the main characters uh, who lived past the 1960s. Uh, yeah. So it's really unique. You think everyone's dead from the cast, and most of them have been for a very long time, but she is not. I just want to pass that on to people listening. Um, That's true. And, you know, she's very healthy, Adam. She's very oh, healthy. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Well, what's her personality like? Obviously, I don't expect her to be just like Melanie Wilkes, but that's the impression people would have of her. You know? Well, Adam, she's a very, very strong personality. Uh -huh. uh, she's very alert. Uh, when you're with her, uh, I understand. I've talked to some people that had the uh, the opportunity to meet her. And when you're with her, she really doesn't want to talk about the industry. She wants to talk about world events, about current events, about oh. things that are happening. And uh, she's she's very very alert to things like that. But she's got a great. 
great personality, and uh, she just loves to uh, loves to talk to people. Now she's lived, she's lived in France for several decades. Uh, how did she decide to go over to to France in the first place? If you if you know. Well, uh, Barbara uh, was a flight attendant for American Airlines, uh-huh. and uh, she used to fly to uh, to Paris from from Boston. Uh-huh. And uh, we've both been there several times. I worked with American, as you know, for many many years, and uh, we've been there several times, and we like it. We like mm-hmm. France a lot. So we decided on our 25th anniversary, we're going back over to Paris and and celebrate. And while we're there, we'll give Lady Olivia, or Miss, excuse me, Miss uh, Miss Olivia, a call, and perhaps we can get together with her. That's how it started. And then we worked on it. Uh, we worked on it for about six months. And uh, uh, it, uh, we call her Mama Melanie now because that's the way she signs all of her letters or all of her her emails to me. Funny. Um, no, I was going to say, how did she decide to uh, live in Paris? Uh, that I don't. I think she married someone over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think her husband, her late husband, was from from France, and, and she they got married, and uh, she just lived decided to live over there. Not the worst place to be. Um, let me ask you, what are some of the highlights of the notes? Things that really uh, are memorable to you from the notes and letters you've exchanged through the years. I'm sorry, the highlights of... Uh, what are some of your favorite uh, passages and letters or favorite things from your correspondence uh, in your interaction with her? Uh, it, it, what always uh, impresses me with her is that she always comes back with a very, very uh, interesting letter or email, uh, and she always asks how things are going over here, mm-hmm. and... Uh, she said, she, she, you know, she doesn't really initiate a conversation uh, personally, mm-hmm. but a uh, personal conversation, but it's all very, very uh, up-to-date, you know, and very alert. Her mind is very alert, and she just talks about everything. It's just, I can't, I couldn't say to you, well, this is the most outstanding thing she's talked about, because she talks about everything, and so intelligently that it's just, uh, it's, you know, not, of course, as you might imagine, uh, I'm in awe every time I talk with her on the phone. <laughs> That's great. Well, get some good, uh, you know, if you talk to her this year, uh, get some good information so you can update us maybe on her actual birthday on Sunday. And uh, thanks, as always, for your time. Hopefully we'll be able to do this next year and many more years into the future. Let's hope, Adam. I always look forward to sharing some time with you and chatting about uh, about the uh, Gone with the Wind and other movies, and I appreciate the call. All right, Mickey. We'll talk again soon. Thanks, Adam. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.